Hello everybody, my name is Meta underscore Meister, and welcome back hey, to Henry? day three of Firewatch. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I don't know who- Do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. <laughs> oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> Ooh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. <laughs> now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever <laughs> they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos as often as possible. <laughs> oh, really? You bet. Yeah. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. I know it's not easy. Uh, I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but... Yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? <laughs> I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. <laughs> Oof. Eesh. <laughs> that sounds I painful. Know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, <laughs> don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. <laughs> your eyes, tell me. They're, uh, they're steely, cold, hard oh. stare. Hmm, like a Siberian husky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window's all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call Hello, me Patriots. and prefer sign a smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. What? Day nine? Day nine? Okay! I'm just gonna go ahead and not end the episode here and just keep going, cause that was Hello, really Henry. short. Having a nice afternoon. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Uh oh. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Yikes. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. 
Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I will enjoy my sunset. Day 15! Well, the game's just going quickly now! Henry. Henry, wake up. It sounded like something was hitting my... Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. She's drunk! You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <sighs> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Damn, I was not expecting that one. My map doesn't have the markings on it anymore. Game. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? No, I would anyway, love to have this job drop, in real life. It'd be awesome. Okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, oh. really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Um, I think all I need to do is go north. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. <laughs> a driller, you said? for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. This game is pretty interesting. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? 
You can't take other people's stuff. Okay, I was I wondered about that. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I really hope you tune in to enjoy more. And I really, really hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Yes, I said, before he gets us. Oh no! I mean, I was giving them uh, a head start because they had an AI, and I felt bad. <laughs> even if even if my failing oh, is oh, really oh, really oh, heavy, yeah. oh, oh, unnecessary roughness. Go! Get out of here!